a kerfuffle, a brouhaha has really messed up things, you know, in the NFL. Well, as far as the Thursday night game goes, I didn't talk about it last week because I just didn't feel like doing it. But the Browns beat the Steelers. You know, you can't really say much more to it. Uh, Mace Rudolph didn't get suspended. You know, he, he kind of kind of starts the whole thing, but you don't do that if you're Miles Garrett. Marquise Pouncey also got suspended. Somebody else also got suspended for the Browns as well. So it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, both the Browns and the Steelers are still in playoff contention, barely hanging on by a threat. Jets, Redskins, doesn't really matter. Jets blow out the Redskins. Uh, it's just a sad state of affairs down there in D.C. Uh, the Colts beat the Jags, you know. Nick Foles came back. That's about it. Uh, the Bills beat the Dolphins, so I guess that, uh, that, that that Dolphins win streak was all for nothing, huh? Pretty sad. You know, the Cowboys did – they did enough this week. Um, defense still kind of worries me, um, but, you know, we did enough, and we're in the division lead, so that's all good. That's all good and great. The Ravens, Lamar Jackson, just ran all over the Texans. Deshaun Watson and the Texans had no answer. 41-7. to Disgusting. I thought this game was going to be close, but it wasn't. It wasn't at all. <clears throat> Another game that should have been the other way around, honestly. Um, the Panthers just get destroyed. What in the world? Where did the Falcons come from? They've won like three straight now, or however many games they've won straight now. But they they're looking good right now. You know, maybe the we thought the Falcons were dead. They have risen up and are just winning game after game. You know. Could the could the Falcons be potentially prepping up for something? I don't know. There's a lot of eight win teams in the NF in the NFC right now, so I wouldn't bet on it. You know the Saints. They take care of business. J- famous Jameis continues to throw turnovers. The the era of Jameis is probably done. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I say it every week. And I'm gonna continue to say it. The era of Jameis Winston should be over. Somebody should be, you know, getting in, getting ready to take over down there in Tampa. You can't throw four interceptions. The Vikings beat the Broncos, and the Broncos had a lead, but the Vikings came back and just took that lead away. Took it away. Um, the 49ers, they beat the Cards. Technically, it was only supposed to be by four, but then they were, it was a stupid boneheaded play at the end of the game where – I think Larry Fitzgerald tried the lateral of the ball, and then everybody could, you know, there was a whole bunch of people that tried to recover it, but then it just didn't get recovered until, like, you know, down at the four-yard line, and then, boom, it was in the end zone, and then the 49ers won. Jimmy G has to look good. Does not look very good. Um, Raiders beat the Bengals, you know. It was a really close game for a long while, but the Raiders just pulled it out. Same thing with the Bears and Rams. It was a close game, you know, really rough game to watch. Um, actually, I didn't watch this game at all, not going to lie to you. But it was it was actually the least watched Sunday night football game in a while, as I read. So, long while. Chiefs beat the, the Chargers down in Mexico. Um, Rivers threw a lot of interceptions. Lots of them. Just, it was bad. It's bad for Villa. And then finally... Um, a real big game that really should have had everybody talking was the Super Bowl rematch between the Patriots and the Eagles. Now, this game was kind of disgusting, to be completely honest with you. Um, you know, once the Patriots, you know, got on the board, it was 10 to 9 at halftime, stuff like that. Once the Patriots got on the board, once they started doing stuff, you know, like the Edelman trick pass, once the Eagles offense just looked like trash, you know, it was a wrap. You know, it does not take much to beat the Eagles. All you got to do is stop them a couple times, and boom, does not take a lot. The fact that the Eagles had, you know, Nelson occasional hands, Aguilar, trying to get a touchdown pass in the end zone that was kind of catchable, but at the same time, not really, you know, they just couldn't come up with it. 
you hate to see it. You hate to see it. But that's a good one for us, for the boys, baby. We're in the division lead. Yes, sir. So that's all good. So that's going to do it for week number 11. That's that's the recap. That's it. Not a lot really kind of wowed me this week, you know. It was just another week of the NFL. You know, it's any given Sunday around these parts. So you never know who could win. The Bengals are still firmly – they don't have any wins. They firmly don't have any wins. So the Bears, the Rams still look like trash. Um, the Patriots, when they play, when they play hard, they play really, really hard. You know, and you got to feel for quarterbacks like Philip Rivers and Jameis Winston throwing way too many interceptions. That's going to do it. That's all I've got. I'll take care. Let's get ready for week 12, baby.